Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing on this uh, mid approaching late January and mid winter on a relatively mild, nice morning today in the upper 20s in the greater Bloomington metropolitan area in central Illinois. So Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, still no snow cover, but we're going to do a quick morning update here. But I'm getting ready for work, so we're in close to the one hour time frame, and this is just going to be a straight to the shot what's going on today so in the short term today you got bitcoin sitting just underneath the 200 day moving average you can see we've had this area highlighted we're going to delete now as back testing this major overhead resistance the orange ring now you've known from all of our videos the past months what the orange ring is rejected once coming back up rejected again straddling as uh underneath the 200 day using it as resistance if you pop up today this is your major upper resistance right then you'd have to make something happen at 42,773. If you wanted to get bullish, you got to fire above that. What I think would happen is if you hit that today, you're going to trade back down, right? And then your major underneath support is right there. So what you got going on today is you're going to have major overhead resistance at 42,769. And you got or 42,869. And then you got major underneath support at 40,269, right? So that's what's going on there. Your support and resistances. Your resistance is the orange ring, right? We all know what the orange ring is. Dogecoin, it's coming down a little bit. You can see it classically bounced off or got rejected off our major overhead resistance that we talked about the last few days. And then we have this uh, five, 15 cents as back here, we had it circled the bounce, come down to, and then we showed you in our prior videos how if you came up, this would act as your major overhead resistance because that was a symmetrical triangle that you broke out of. And then they like to back test them and they hit it beautifully and get rejected. Then you trade back down to 15 cents. And then like we talked about the last time, there's your next target, 10 cents on that blue ring. So today your short term overhead resistance is 22 cents which you're not gonna get there, you just got rejected, your underneath support is 15 cents, and then your ultimate underneath support is 10 cents, right? So that's what we're gonna be bouncing around in today in the Doge. Upper resistance, fabulous, glowing, gorgeous, all jabroni enticing, double top, flush, right? That would be your bullish scenario, your bearish scenario as you dance around, and then you just start trading down to your underneath support the next couple of days. And then we have with the XRP, you can see it's in this little consolidation that we drew yesterday if we're gonna try to get bullish and come up to that 85 ish cents range right or are we going to fall back and break down and retest this uh ring again like we knew it was going to bounce here and we got a nice bounce we told you back here oops we told you back when it was falling back in here that as soon as it flushed this ring would be a nice ring to buy for a bounce and if you bought the ring you are still up as it's in a consolidation so this was a successful trade because it was up at its peak so far 15 percent and at current price 10 percent you could still get out about five or six days into the trade but i thought it was going to come up to here like you guys know i am not in the trade i just thought it would be a nice bounce zone and your sell zone would be if it breaks below where you bought it at down here on that ring right like subscribe and share to Vincenzo's go crypto investing peace and love peace and love